former Lower Town, Lower Cape May baseball coach. We're going to talk about Matt Caesar and his involvement with the Cubs. Good morning, Coach. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Thanks hey, for having how's me. How's it going, man? Thanks for joining us. Always, always great to talk some baseball into November. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to be just beside yourself, thrilled. I mean, one of your own, winning the World Series, you know, part of that Cubs team. And give us your thoughts about about this whole World Series and Game Seven, especially. I mean, I I don't know, I don't know if you're like me. I was I was telling Cole, I was standing there at two o'clock in the morning in, in my apartment taking dry cuts. Absolutely, <laughs> I was doing the same thing, jumping up and down. Uh, it was, uh, you know, what a thrill for him and uh, you know his his wife and family. His family was all out there. Um, you know, it's just, just an amazing, amazing, uh, you know, another amazing achievement that he is, he is, uh, has done. Um, you know, he went from, <laughs> I bring this up, it's really not that big of a deal, but 2005 CAL champion, then you go to Villanova and you win a, a national championship. <laughs> uh, you win a ring there and then, you know, and then this is just icing on the, on the cake. And, uh. You know, I, I think I think the Eagles need a wide receiver, by the way. If we can, <laughs> if we can get him to come back and play a little football. There you go. That's you know, easy. A little wide out for the Eagles. There you go. He's taught everything he's on is, you know, is pretty successful. So, uh, you know, maybe the birds <laughs> can, uh, can pick him up. But, well, uh, what a thrill! I mean, thrill. we we can really we can really say that without Matt Caesar, the Cubs don't win the World Series because uh, Anthony Rizzo borrowed his bat when he was in a big time yeah. slump and, and cracked right out of it and. Next thing you know, he's hitting everything all over the yard. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you <laughs> that know, was a neat that, story. That, right, absolutely. That, that the thing with with that is, unfortunately, he was not on the uh, you know the twenty five man roster for the playoffs. And uh, you know, I know he's upset about that, but you know, he contributed any way he could. He was in the dugout. You know, uh, I know that his teammates love him, and you know, he's a lovable kid anyway. So you know, it's just a, it's just a special special thing. And uh, you know he contributed to their success all season long. Sure, yeah, yeah. He had a nice yeah. season. Yeah, he had a grand slam. He was a, a top one of the top guys in the league in uh, pinch hitting appearance. You know, pinch hits. Right. And uh, you know, also he had a two home run game. So I mean, he was he was uh, you know very successful. You know, in, in them winning as well. So talking with uh, Mike Coomerly, former Lower Cape May baseball coach, Coach Matt Caesar in high school. Coach, give us a give us a funny story about Matt in high school. Uh, <laughs> if you could I, dig I, one up, I, I got There's there's a lot. I mean, he's just such a good kid. Uh, you know, I, I know that uh, here here's a story that always catch me is that uh, we're playing um, we're playing at home and and a, a, one of the umpires in the one of the best umpires down here in uh, South Jersey, uh, Bill Fishman. Um, I mean, you may know him being a baseball guy too. Uh, he was doing the bases. Matt hits his senior year. First off, Matt batted six eighty one his senior year. I believe that's still a South Jersey record. Jesus, <laughs> um, what, did he, what did he get out three times the whole season? Uh, I fifteen. I think he was thirty two for forty seven on the year. He walked, <laughs> you know, intentionally walked numerous times. But uh, one of his, uh, it was actually a base hit. He hit an absolute seed uh, and hit Bill Fishman in the leg. And <laughs> I think Bill Bill Fishman still has a knot. On his leg, Jeez. Uh, from that. So we talk about that, but uh, you know, just just a great kid. It just it's uh, he's very easy to root for, especially with everything on and off the field. Uh, you know, with with the the bone marrow donor, and sure, just, yeah. Just just I mean, who wouldn't do that? But it just he's he's a good kid. So it's very very happy, <clears throat> very proud as a you know a, an old coach. <laughs> So. Now, now when he, when he was playing in high school, I remember uh, covering Mike Trout in high school, and the first time I saw Trout play was in the playoffs. He was a sophomore against Tom's River South, and and right. I came, I went back to the office the next day, and I told the the guy who normally covered high school baseball, I said, "This kid's going to be in the pros by the time he's twenty one." And he was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, I I've, I've seen professional baseball players. I played against guys who who made it to the pros. This guy has what it takes." Did you see that from an early age with Matt? Um, he always he always um had the uh you know he always had the drive like and obviously he always had the athleticism but he did put time in you know you have to anyway any any athlete you know who wants to be decent or special has to put the time in the weight room the you know the extra the extra hitting the extra workouts um 
did I see that with Matt? I mean, he didn't, he didn't, I mean, he was drafted out of high school in the 38th round by the Dodgers. So there was definitely interest, uh-huh. um, you know, and, you know, he was still toying with the football, you know, should, should I play football, you know, or, or he knew he was going to college to play football and baseball. They'll know gave him the opportunity, which was the best decision they probably ever made. <laughs> No, not ever made. Villain was great, um, but uh, he, uh, you know, did I see him being a uh, you know major league baseball player? Yeah, I wouldn't put anything past Matt, um, but you know, I didn't know he was. I knew he'd be successful if he got there because he just has that knack about him. But um, you know, it, it's just amazing. They get, and then the Cubs draft him out of Villanova in the fifth round. And you know the rest is kind of, kind of history here. And he he just seems like everything he's on so far has been pretty gold. So he's got the magic touch. <laughs> he's got the magic touch. <laughs> Tell you what, nice nice year for Villanova. They win the basketball national championship. They they got a guy on the World Series roster. I mean, yeah. that's a nice year for the Wildcats. Oh yeah, they're very they're very proud. And I, you know he's got some tweets through uh, Brian Westbrook, uh, very supportive. Of the, you know the university so so supportive and proud of, of what he's accomplished. And, you know, he, he's coached by a very good, I think he's a genius, <laughs> Joe Madden. Uh, and he's a Lafayette grad. Um, and I used to work at Lafayette in the athletic department, and I know he says that Lafayette's one of the best things that's ever happened to him. So all those people that were questioning Coach Madden's moves, uh, you know, like he's a baseball <laughs> guy. He's very, very smart, and uh, he obviously made all the right decisions. <laughs> Our producer, our so, producer Cole, yeah. just gave you just gave me a little smile over here because that's that's been uh, obviously the talk of uh, the baseball world is Joe Madden, but hey, yeah, you know the guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, he's uh, he. I was listening to him yesterday. I actually, my son was sick yesterday, so it was one of the best days. I stayed stayed home, and uh, I got to watch the parade. Uh, so I, you know, it was uh, it was awesome, and uh, you know, listening to Joe, he, he's. It exudes a lot of confidence, and I, I know why the players, you know, love to play for him. What a scene that was! I mean, I got I got a text, a video text from uh, Matt Caesar's dad. He's actually going to be uh, we're going to be calling him around nine thirty. Right. Uh, he was at the parade, and and man, right. what a scene! I missed it. I was I was at you know working all day, but uh, right. didn't get a chance to see the, the live on TV. But man, what a scene! That, uh, the whole city was absolutely shut down. Absolutely wild, absolutely wild, and. Uh, just you know, I, I did text Matt too. I said you got to be on the ring committee. By the way, you got to, you know, that that ring has to have 108 diamonds in it. <laughs> but, you know, and I, I had a couple buddies here that were uh, uh, rooting for the Indians a little bit, and I said, no way, no way. Uh, you know, it's been 108 years since they won. There's 108 stitches on the baseball. You know, uh, it, it's happening. It's definitely happening. So, and how about was, uh, how about uh, game went 10 innings and they scored eight runs. Oh jeez, that, that, <laughs> that is crazy! I didn't even realize that. Yep. Yeah, that was just uh, just everything with the rain delay, and you know, I was like, oh, I didn't give up. There's no way. I, you <laughs> know, I was jumping up and down, uh, you know, cheering. Just you know, I'm a I'm a Phillies fan, obviously, but uh, I have a buddy that's the head soccer coach at Northwestern out in Evanston, and uh, I've been to Wrigley many times. It's just a magical place, and the area that had just it was had to be nuts. Just Absolutely crazy. We're talking with um, Mike Coomerly, former Lower Cape May baseball coach, Coach Matt Caesar in high school. Uh, coach, real quick before we let you go, yes, are, is is Matt going to let you wear the World Series ring, maybe for like a half an hour or so? I, I'm wearing <laughs> it. I, I know he does clinics, uh, you know, down here in South Jersey. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, well, he won't get it until next next year. Right, so right. I, I will. I will definitely. Get a picture with that thing. Hopefully, <laughs> like you know, I see him once in a while. I don't see him too often. Let him do his thing. Yep. But uh, you know, when I do, I'm I'm going to definitely try it on. <laughs> it's awesome, Coach. Real quick before we let you go, what what's the feeling? You know, did you get any uh, interaction with with former players, former teammates of his, former coaches about this whole thing? I'm, I'm sure the whole uh, Cape May County is just buzzing about Matt being a part of the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, everybody down in, at Lower Cape May and in, in the Cape May area, you know, is is very very happy. We talked about it every morning. Just you know, uh, it, it was just a it's 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 fun atmosphere. I kind of you know can't wait till he comes back and we get to see him and 
you know, congratulate them. But uh, might have to rename yeah, the ball field down, down there, right? Down here. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> something, something, something will be get, uh, get some kind of big sign. Yeah. yeah, he's got his jerseys. Both football and baseball jerseys are hanging up already. Nice. Uh, his numbers are retired. So, um, but and he's in the Hall of Fame. So, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's just, uh, just, just great. It's great down there, and you know, it, everyone can't wait for him to come back, and we'll, you know, celebrate with him somehow. Good stuff, Coach. We're up against the break. I can talk baseball all yeah. morning with you, but we yeah. got to let you go. So, but thanks Absolutely. for taking a few minutes, man. Enjoy talking to you. Thank you very much for having me. All right, have great a good weekend, day. buddy. All right, thank you. That was Coach Mike Coomerly, former Lower Cape May baseball coach, Coach Matt Caesar in high school. Great talking some baseball with him.